Hey everyone, welcome to 2 Minutes Tuesday with Bala. This week we are going to look into Azure Cognitive Search. Let's get started. What is Azure Cognitive Search? Azure Cognitive Search is rebranded from Azure Search and it's basically used as a cloud search service provided by Microsoft. It supports full text and vector search. It has rich indexing and this also gives you an ability to add search to any application. It can be an Android application, Windows application or your web. Also, you can leverage the power of AI, which helps you relevant information what the people are searching for. And uh, eventually, Azure Cognitive Search is also nowadays used with OpenAI. What is the basic architecture? You have two parts in the basic architecture. One is indexing, one is querying. So indexing is where you will index the content and then send it to the index. And then the querying part is where you will consume the content. So you're doing a query and then it's going to return you the results. Capabilities of uh, cognitive search. Uh, it has search engine, basically. It's nothing but uh, a version of uh, Lucene. And then it has rich indexing capabilities. Uh, while doing indexing, it is more uh, to us. It doesn't have inbuilt indexer, so it's up to us to push whatever data we want. It also has a rich query syntax, which can be used for uh, text search, fuzzy search, or you know vector queries. It also has a data integration, so you can feed information from any systems. A and machine learning integration is used for enabling you to search on unsearchable items, something like an image or a PDF. It also has security integration with uh, Azure Active Directory. So you can have this private and uh, it is also used for security content as well. Linguistic and custom text analysis. So it does support multilingual. So it almost supports like 56 languages and that could be used as well. You can in enhance your search experience with a rich query language using the robust query language to, and it also supports faceting. It also has the autocomplete queries and suggested results. This is a common scenario in any search application you would need. And it also has support for synonyms. When it comes to pricing, it all depends on the storage that you are using and the data transfer uh, that is being used as well charged. So this is the pricing information. Even today, you could start with the free version. That's what I tried uh, to use it. And it, it gives you like 50 megabyte. And then you can have like up to three indexes. And here you can see the additional pricing. It depends on custom entity lookup or uh, document cracking in this like uh, text from image extraction or semantic search. Thank you for watching. I will see you next week with another topic. Feel free to leave a comment, like, share and subscribe. Thanks again.